Hi y'all and welcome to our video. Today we are going to be doing a little review for the Gabby's Wink line of dog products. And today we're going to be reviewing the Whippy Hip and Joint Care, the Heinen Treat, Chewable Pill Pouch Treats, and Krill Treats, Pure oh, and Arctic me. Krill Oil. Um, and um, we are... Yeah, and some cheese. We are a little late for our Halloween video. Um, so we're going to do our theme today. Let's get up here. Come on, get, come on, buddy. sit. Good boy, sit right there. So first product that we're going to talk about is the Gabby's Wink. Mm -hmm. Whippy Hip and Joint Care. And these are tablets. And... Um, I reviewed a similar tablet, and um, again, it had the turmeric, and I had some problems <clears throat> with getting my dog to eat turmeric. Oh, there he is eating. Get, uh -uh. So, um, he just ate something out of here. Let's see what his choice was. Oh, he didn't eat anything, actually. He was eating my, my other treats. So, let's take a look at the products here. And as I was saying, here's the whippy. <clears throat> And I guess Whippy refers to the flexibility, keeps the joints flexible and inflammation-free and whip-like. And again, um, you know, decent-sized pill, kind of hard to uh, get my dog to take it. No, 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 wait, wait. So what they also gave me was the square right here. And the square is actually the hide-and-treat pouch. And the hide and treat pouch is uh, low calorie. You know, I couldn't find how many calories were on it, so I'm not sure, you know, low calorie, uh, what, how many calories are actually in each treat. Uh, zero sodium and low allergen. And at first I thought, well, you know, the cheese flavor probably has some sort of dairy in it, and it does, actually does not have dairy in it to keep it from being an allergen. So it does have rice, synthetic cheese flavor, and then you can, uh, if my phone would, you can go from there and see. Um, it does have more dyes than I'm comfortable okay. with. I'd have what to do a little more messy. research on um, on the dyes, messy. but uh, there you go. Yes. And so you get 40 of these. And they're Bigo. okay. Hey, thank you. Bigo. I bet me. So, and then the third thing that we tried were the krill treats, and these are getting pretty popular now. The krill treats made from pure Antarctic krill oil, and these are also cheese flavored. Cedric, Cedric. Um, you get sixty here, and they are very large. So you get sixty. However, please stop touching me. Here, let's take a look here. So you get sixty. Which my phone to focus properly. Uh, which is basically a pound. Yes, yes, sixty. So basically, you get a pound of them, and um, the serving, the suggested serving size for these, you break them. So not only do you get sixty, but you also you break them in half, and one and two, and then even less after that. So you get quite. You know, this is this is quite a good deal if you feel like you need the Antarctic krill oil. Um, a lot of people are saying that it really does help skin and coat, reduces shedding, and then it's a powerful antioxidant um, from the the krill. And the krill has um, a word, A-N-X. I'm not sure, I'm not seeing it on here that is an antioxidant. And let's go ahead. Yes, those are the other treats. Let's put those down, please. So, in all this chaos, let's take a look at the individual... The individual items. So, here's the krill treat. Normally, I only, I mean, look how huge that is. And it's very soft. We'll squish it up for you. You'll see. Um, it's soft. It's red. It's a little, you know, I wish it was more natural as far as um, having the red dye. The red dye always concerns me. But, um, you know, if, if, if they say it's safe, then uh, we'll go with it. The red dye is okay. And, um... He's not really into them, but he'll eat them. You know, it's it's not his first choice, but he'll eat them. Um, he's he's a picky dog, 
And so the fact that he just ate that right there is a big deal. And um, next, we're going to go ahead and put, since he will not eat the turmeric on its own, we're going to go ahead and put the joint inside the pouch. And you can see the pouch is pretty big. I think for a dog my dog size, you could probably get away with um, have it, like cutting the, the pouch in half. And um, it's a little crumbly. It's not as squishy and Play-Doh-y as the pill pockets that I've, I've used before in the past. Here we go. But he will not, he's okay with the, the pouch part. I've broken it up, given it to him as treat rewards. But as far as the um, Mary goes to vary it, uh, as far as um, the the pill, it takes a lot to get him to uh, take the whippy. So I've I've tried hiding it into his in his food, and I home make his food, so it's kind of like a stew, and he still he detects it and won't eat it. Um, you know, I guess I could gr try grinding it, um, but uh, so far um, to get him to take it. To get him to take it, I've just been giving the cheese, the, the spray cheese, and putting the spray cheese inside the uh, the hide and treat pouch treat, and um, then sticking one of these in. And sometimes he'll eat it, sometimes he won't. But uh, you know, your dog may be a gobbler, and he doesn't care. This dog is super picky. Don't let his uh, pickiness make you think it isn't a good product. So thank you to Gabby's Wink for sending me these items to review. And if you find yourself in need of hip and joint care or pouch pop, the pill pouch treats, or even want to check out the krill treats because they're the, the hot new um, antioxidant, these are a really good value. And um, I will go ahead and put a link to them in the show notes. And thanks for, well, let me see if I can get one more. And so there says, thanks for watching. Bye.